Today we're going to look at assessment using Socrative. So now that everybody's at home and students are learning, you might want to be thinking about how you're going to assess students, in particular if you've never assessed them digitally before. So we're going to open up Socrative. There are two types of app, a teacher app and a student app. I'm going to open up my teacher app. So you can sign up, it's free. Um, there's a pro version as well, but the free version has quite a lot. Um, one advantage of the pro version is you do get multiple rooms. So for example, right now, I've actually got a few different rooms open and uh, students are just working away independently and then I can check back each day uh, whether they've done their quizzes or not. So first I'm gonna select a quiz. So here are some of the ones that I would have previously opened and created. So when you have a quiz, you can name the quiz. I'm just going to go sample quiz. And you have different types of questions from multiple choice, short answer, or true or false. So I'm going to click on short answer and what day is it? So you can put it in images, which can be useful as well. So Okay, and then I'm gonna give um, just they can put a short answer to that. Could also put it in as multiple choice today and Monday. You can have it. Uh, Click on the correct one right away if you want. I actually prefer to grade them afterwards. So um, I don't use this at all. But it is useful if you have ones where there's a definite yes or no answer. I do a lot of short question, uh, short answer questions in mind. So I do grade them afterwards. I'm just going to save this. And then I have to go to launch. I'm going to launch my quiz, my sample quiz. Um, so in this room, I have some that I use a lot. I have an option to require names, um, give them instant feedback if I want. Open navigation, I use the most, so it allows them to go through the different questions. Um, teacher paste if you want a time limit on it. So if you want them to only have like 15 minutes to do it, you can put that on. You can shuffle the questions and answers, which is useful if they're sitting next to each other in a class. I'm not so sure how useful it would be at home. Um, so you may not need that right now. So we click on start and then I can see my students coming in. So I'm going to actually pop over to the student app. So I'm going to go in here to my student app and put in my room name. And then it's going to ask for my name. And what day is it today? So it is actually Monday because I am uh, recording this on Monday ahead of tomorrow. But in my second one, I'm going to put the right answer, which is Tuesday. So I'm going to finish the quiz. So you can have multiple different questions. It doesn't have to just be two. I'm going to finish the quiz. It's going to ask me, am I sure? And then I'm going to head back to the teacher. And it'll say that I went in there and I got 100%. Go me. So one uh, useful thing is you can display things like these on the screen um, in a classroom, but you can see that someone's logged in. So for example, earlier today, I sent out a Socratic quiz to a bunch of uh, students and I was instantly able to see who logged in and reviewed it, even if they hadn't answered it. So it is one way to see um, that people have logged in and they have actually acknowledged it. When I'm finished, I'm going to finish it and then I'm going to go back into my reports. So for this one, I'm going to get my report and get it as an Excel, individual student PDFs or question specific PDFs. I actually use the individual student PDFs the most and uh, then I can actually download it. So I waited a minute or two and I got an email and inside the email there was a download link. Inside the download link there was a file and this is the file that I got. So you can see it gives you the name of the quiz, 
obviously you'll have something a bit more meaningful than sample quiz. I'll give you the questions. If they are automatically marked, they'll be clearly labeled in green or red if they're wrong. I'll give you the student's name, the class name, and all the other information that you have in there. Um, so that's really useful. I can pop in their file. You can put it on a learning platform. What I find the most useful thing about this in the past week is it works on every device, even if a student is using their mobile phone. I've swiftly gone from a one-to-one -one iPad classroom to bring your own device at home learning situation. So uh, Socrative has worked kind of miracles for me uh, where normally I would use various different apps or journals. It has filled in that gap and it gives me evidence of learning and it gives me opportunity to assess my students.